Australian bat lysivirus. It's a modern name for an ancient disease. Because make no mistake, the deadly virus that lurks in our native bat population is Australia's rabies. It's spread the same way, through a bite or scratch. Its victims turn violent and froth at the mouth. And when the lysivirus struck Lincoln Flynn, he displayed another classic rabies symptom. You know, and he said to me Friday night he had a temperature. And when I gave him some water and Panadol, he thought I was trying to burn him and scald his throat. What, what did he say? Well, Mum, you're burning my throat. I can't have this. He spat it straight back out. I said, don't be silly, it's cold water and, and Panadol, and he said, I can't take it. And that's when I knew that's not normal. Overnight, Lincoln developed seizures. He was admitted to hospital the next morning. Each new symptom was more bizarre than the last. Then came the moment that convinced Michelle something terrible was taking control of her little boy. His spasms were worsening and um, he was having a, a few hallucinations um, to the morphine and he just wanted to go home. You know, he was uh, scared. He was scared. You could see that. Um, he just really wanted out at, at that point. And um, that's when he, he knelt up on the bed and ripped out the IV lines. And, um, you know, obviously nurses and doctors come running. And he literally threw them off like they were teeny weeny people. That was an eight year old. An eight year old. Was a boy doing and that. it was horrific. And I just looked at it and thought, what is going on? How on earth are you, are you doing this? Lincoln's seizures became so violent, doctors placed him in an induced coma. He was heavily sedated to, to a level that the doctors had never seen before. But the virus fought back against each new drug, trying to regain control of its host. Every 15 minutes, he would literally, what they call, break through that incredibly heavy sedation, and he would start to have a far more aggressive, if you like, um, convulsion. In this video, Michelle shot for the doctors, Lincoln's face shows signs of the internal struggle. And you can actually see during some of the convulsions at various times, he has tears coming out of his eyes. He was clearly in a huge amount of pain. At one point, the doctors briefly brought Lincoln out of his coma, so Michelle and Colin had the chance to speak to him. It was to be the last time they'd hear his voice. He first said um, that he was sorry. That were his first words. Yeah, I'm sorry. Then he said, I, I love your dad, I love your mum. Yep, and he, he, did. he wasn't doing it. He wasn't. I'm that, not doing it. This is the convulsions, because we said, you know, you gotta, you gotta stop, he goes, oh, I'm not doing it, and... He can't control yeah. it. In those moments, Lincoln confirmed he'd been scratched by a bat on Long Island, and he told his parents he knew he was dying. He said, I'm dying. I told him, don't be stupid. I said, don't be stupid. We got the best doctors we got around the world looking at you. You're not dying. That's just not an option. Lincoln's 28 day fight for life ended on Friday, February the 22nd. He became the third person in history to be killed by Australia's rabies. All three deaths from the lysivirus have occurred here in tropical Queensland. But the truth is, bats infected with this virus have been found in just about every state in Australia. And most nights, thousands of bats fill our skies above towns and cities and live in huge colonies beside us. It stands to reason that any one of those could be carrying the virus. Hello, I'm Liz Hayes. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.